I'm Haruhi Suzumiya from East Junior High. First off, I'm not interested in ordinary people. But if any of you are aliens, time travelers, or espers, please come see me. That is all. Is that supposed to be funny? And you, are you dressed as a particular character, or is it just a, a um, static thing? I'm uh, no. Super Sonico. Yeah, I don't know if you're familiar. She's from. Uh, she was a um, mascot for a company, but she's got her own anime now. So. Oh, was that a successful series? Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of. It would appeal to a certain market. <laughs> What invites you towards the anime medium? What aspects intrigue you? The characters um, are usually quite complex and linked with each other in some way, so you can never say that a character is just like a loose link in the plot. Just because it is something different, uh, it's something new, and there's so many genres uh, amongst anime, like there's, there's the horror, there's the cutesy things, there's like daily life stuff. Um, it's just a great wide appeal. The characters. They're all inviting, you get invested in their stories, you get invested in how they will react to things. There was one character in particular that I was about 14 when I watched this, and I was a bit of a weird kid, didn't really have any friends, and this character made me feel, I'm not alone. I have these thoughts, I'm this kind of person. Hey, this is really cool, and then I got completely invested in it, played the game, looked at all the spin-offs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say there are quite a few people, especially ones that I've met, who get quite like that. A lot of people just like it, like, hey, I like this thing, that's cool. But I find a lot of people who can find almost an attachment or a place of belonging with other fans. And with that in mind, why would you suppose like it has such a strong following, especially over the past five, <clears throat> five or so years? One answer, Attack on Titan. <laughs> And specifically about this anime, Attack on Titan, what about that series do you think has like, drawn so many people into the platform? It's completely different to the sorts of things that you get over here. It's very typical of anime, almost. It's got the big monsters, it's got glorious animation. I'd say it's definitely one of the best animated series of all time. I think it's mainly the animation, the setting, because the setting is so thought about. But it's typical of anime, it's not too weird to bring as a starter. It's definitely taken over from Death Note, which was the previous starter anime. What would you say are some of your personal favourite titles? I, I really love Death Note because of how, like, it can get quite deep because it starts off with like just a book falling and then it turns out that it actually kills people and the boy who finds it like proclaims himself the leader of the new world and it becomes really deep. Would you say there is a level of like sophistication to the storytelling or writing? Yeah, absolutely, because if people are willing to follow something kind of almost blindly to begin with, then it must have some kind of sophisticated feel for people to be so inclined to do so. And are there any elements about the platform that you would say you don't like or, more importantly, would like discourage newcomers, people in trying to get into the medium? Um, sometimes the themes can be really extreme, but it doesn't really warn you about it. It's like anime will only let you see things as they happen. It won't warn you about what's going to happen, so you could have a mass murder without even realising it. <laughs> The 
culture of Japan is incredibly different to the West. So a lot of things that are completely acceptable over there are a little more frowned upon over here. And there are a lot of things that gives anime a bad reputation. Holy... Sorry. There's quite a lot of sexualization, which can be disappointing, but it's so casualized in the anime that sometimes you don't notice it. Which is probably why it just gets more offensive, because it's treated so mm. casually. Sometimes it's justified by the people who make it saying that there's, they have a lot of fans who ask for it, which could be true, although it, there should kind of be some kind of hint as to whether that's going to be followed up in each anime. It's so like, be warned that it's going to have sexualization. so if it offends you, don't watch. Mm -hmm. different everything is because you can't exactly say anime is a genre because there are so many different genres within it. Uh, the animation style clearly differs from series to series as well so the fact that there's constantly something new and constantly about 30 new like series of things a season coming out it means something interesting is constantly happening within the industry. Thank <laughs> you.